Regulating agencies in Nigeria have been charged to make clear policies in order to enhance bilateral trade with other countries and to revive the country's economy. This charge was given at the International Business Conference at Expo 2023, organized by Lagos Chambers of Commerce and Industry in Lagos. Our correspondent Paul George was there. Gathered in this hall are businessmen and women from different parts of the world at the second day of this conference. The event is not just to discuss bilateral trade among countries, but to improve and encourage small-medium enterprises in Nigeria. The president of LCCI, Michael Olawali Kuhl, believes that if the country's regulatory agencies are reformed, Nigeria can become one of the top countries of the world. Regulators must place more weight on growth and improving competitiveness as part of the forms in which regulatory policies are formulated. I strongly believe that Nigeria can become Africa's industrial hub. A well-designed regulatory regime is necessary as a condition for attractive global investment, which also supports economic growth. The Director General of LCCI, Dr. Chinyuri Aumona, says having some of these regulatory bodies in the conference help answer some questions of the guests. She spoke alongside others. It's better when we co-create, when we engage with government, and so the conversation is together. So at this, the second day of this um, expo, we have regulatory bodies, so they are here themselves to have the conversations with the business community. So it's not we saying anything to them. You can see now we're having this um, question and answer session. They are being asked some questions and they are getting answers. So that's what we want to happen, that the government authorities are part of the conversation at every point in time. This is a very good event, um, which is to you know, look at how we can improve on doing business internationally. Uh, at this point in time in our country where you know um, we have a global village and we're looking at how to improve non-oil exports. So I think it's very timely. And at uh, every point in time we're working with various state governments, various at uh, the federal level and the state to ensure that you know these investors when they come, you know, they stay and they can improve and increase their business, you know, and open more opportunities for, for people to be employed. We are letting everybody know that standards are available and to also let them know how to receive, use, and achieve the requirements of the standard to ensure there's compliance, meeting the requirements of the standards. So many are not able to interpret these requirements of the standards. We are here to let them know that it is easy to understand and to use and readily available for the Nigerian populace and directing them to where and where to get it. Others who spoke, including Benjamin Omar and Jete Bejerum, agree that Nigeria is a marketplace and that they cannot wait to strengthen the ties in business. Nigeria, for us, is one big country and it, well, the, the best country for Africa to do business. Nigeria is very developed in agriculture. We will have best land, huh? but you, you, can, you, you are not developed in agriculture. So that you know, you need, you need that experience to come. Huh? to uh, develop, the, develop it in our country. So that, that is our challenges. We don't have maritime line, I tell you, I tell you before. We need that, and the experience for maritime trade, so that we need that experience to come to implement an equatorial Guinea. I'm here because Nigeria, as a marketplace, uh, and as a denominator for future growth and development, is the place to be. It's a long-term investment, when you want to do business in Nigeria, but you can gain so much from it across the sectors that we work in. As most countries of the world experience economic challenges, the speakers are hopeful that with the right policies, Nigeria can attract investors for sustainable economic growth. Paul George, Plus TV News. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.